Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at how to draft a, a 700 a 720 player. It's a, it's a double circle skirt. So I'm going to show you how to come up with the measurements and how to cut it. All right, so let's get started. You can This is for the whole dress. So you minus the 18 inches for the upper bust, making it 18 inches for the flare. So let's calculate the waist. We are going to get our 48, 48 inches plus two inches for the zip zip allowance which is going to be for 50 inches so we get the 50 inches divided by 3.14 which is the standard radius giving us 15.92 inches so because we are going to need a double circle skirt we are going to fold our fabric into four so we're going to get this this the 15.92 divided by four giving us 3.98 and then for the length, we are going to use our 18 inches, this 18, this 18 inches plus 1 inch for seam allowance, giving us 19 inches. So, meaning our waist is going to be 3.98. Eight inches and the length is going to be 19 inches so this is what you're going to use to cut out so when you're cutting out you're going to fold your fabric into four it's going to be on fold here and on fold here so when you're cutting out you're going to measure this 3.98 is going to be here so mark going round. Measure, you get your so we are going to mark our 3.98 going round from the corner and mark it all round like this, like this, like this, like this, until you reach here, then draw your line. Then from this, from here, it's where we're going to mark. Let's say this is the fabric. From here, this is where we are going to mark our 19 inches. So we are going to mark our 19 inches. The 19 inches, they are going to go all around like this. So let's do it on the fabric so that you can see it very well. So we fold our fabric into four equal parts. So that's the first fold, giving us the two parts. And then we're going to fold it again to give us the other two parts, making them four parts. So just fold it like that. Make sure it's equal. So um, it's going to look like that. You see it's folded twice on this side and then folded again there. So we have one open side, which has one, two, three, four, four parts. And remember, it's going to be a full circle skirt, so it's us to separate it. 
So now let's get to measurements. So we're going to start with our waist, which is 3.98 inches. Guys, with these with these um with these measurements, you have to be exact. Otherwise, if you decide to surround it off to four inches, that means the uh the waist measurement is going to turn out to be bigger than what you actually want. So be specific with the measurements. What you get is what you should mark. Because even a slight increase or a slight decrease will give you either a larger waist or a smaller one. So I'm marking my 3.98. You start at the, at the corner and take it all around. Draw a curve going around for 3.98. And then try to measure that measure that curve and see how many inches so when you get those inches me i got 6.5 inches you can see 6.5 so when you measure those inches they will give you times four times eight times they'll give you the measurement of the waistline of the person mine was 52 remember we measured 48 plus two inches for the zip and then the two inches are for seam allowance. So here, and now I'm now measuring the skirt length, which is 19 inches. So I'm using my curve, my waist curve as the starting line to measure. I just keep going around. If you want to make it a high loss cut, you can go on adjusting, but mine, I wanted it to be equal from the front to the behind. Because I'm going to put a tool net under the skirt. So yeah, that's it's as simple as that by the way to get your skirt measurements, your 720 degree flare. Or you can call it a double a double circle skirt. It's a full one. It turns out to be really, really full. So if the if your customer wants a very full cut this is how you're going to cut it so just cut where I've aligned and we shall have our scotch now for me because the customer wants it to be really full I used two of these so two I made I, I, I measured out two of these cuts and then I just joined them I'm going to show you how so just stay tuned guys if you've made it this far in the video please don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much don't forget to like and share our content and yeah i'll probably be showing you the aftermath of this dress if i happen to record it otherwise stay tuned for more you can let me know in the comment section if there is anything you guys would like to learn. I could teach you that. Otherwise, thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate the views have grown. The subscribers have increased. So thank you guys. So yes, like I said, it's a full circle skirt. So that's how it looks. And now here, I'm going to show you both of them. There is that. Remember, I separated the first one, so I'm also going to separate. Uh, I'm going to separate this one too. Remember, we, we have to join them together. So you separate uh, one side for both for both of them. You separate one side. So one side you join a, you join the skirt one of the skirts and join the sec you join the first cut to the second skirt. So this is my first cut and I also separate it. I hadn't done it on camera so I separate it too. And then as you can see I have now two full ones, two full cuts. Because that's how the client wants it really big. So I'm going to use one side to join the skirt as you can see. Then I'm going to use the other side. Yeah, that's the side I'm going to join. And then this other side will be for the zipper. 
So this is how our skirt has turned out. As you can see, it's full and I've left one opening, which is going before the zipper. This is after joining. So that's where I'm going to I'll join the zipper from. I did on the waistband and the upper part of the dress. All right, guys. So here I'm just trying to show you how it will look full on the person's body. You can see it's fully round and I'm going to add, like I told you earlier, I'm going to add a tool net underneath. So it's really going to be full. You can imagine. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share.